One of the most important things about being an Amazon seller is setting goals so you know exactly how much you want to make each month and more importantly, how you're going to actually achieve that profit goal. So if you want to find out how to do that, stay tuned. Hi, my name's Simon. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller here in the UK and I make roughly around £10,000 every single month in profit. So what I want to talk today about is uh, setting goals for your Amazon business and more importantly, just understanding that, let's say you have a goal of may, maybe making a thousand pound a month, just understanding how you're actually going to achieve that and what's kind of realistic. So it's kind of a two part thing, one setting goals, but also just having a more realist, realistic expectation about how much you can actually make with your set amount of capital. So uh, what I've got here, and we'll switch over to the screen. So what we've got here is a um, what I've called monthly profit figures. And this is a chart that I made up for my students. Um, and guys, if you're interested in getting into Amazon, I've got a free Discord you can join. You can come and ask me questions on there, link in description. You can also get in touch with me for one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. But yeah, so what I've done here is I've created this for my students just to help them understand what they need to do in order to make a certain amount of money uh, per year. So if a student comes to me and says, Simon, I want to make £1,000 per month. Let's move this out of the way. And, um, you know, I've only got, uh, let's say, a thousand pounds to invest. I'd say to him, well, let's have a look at this chart. So if I've got a thousand pounds, I want to make, sorry, if I want to make one thousand pounds every single month as extra profit, what I've got here is for each of these return on investments, I tell you exactly how much you need to be spending per month. Now, the important thing with goals is, is it's good to have a goal of, let's say, a profit figure. But that kind of profit figure is a little bit out of your control. You can't just ring up Jeff at Amazon and say, hey, give me, you know, a thousand pounds a month. You need to realize what what things you can control. And then obviously, um, you know, with that, you can then obviously with things you can control, you can actually then go ahead and actually do those. So, for example, thousand pound a month here. If we know we're looking for a thousand pound a month and we're running at a 30% ROI, then what we need to do is we need to be spending £3,333 a month. That's the part that we can control. We can control what deals we buy, and that uh, leads to the ROI. So we'll pass up on the 20% ROI ones, the 25% ones. We're only going to look for the 30% ROI deals. And we also know we need to spend £3,333 per month. And that will then translate, assuming you can sell all your stock in one month, to about £1,000 profit. And I've created this here for various different examples, all the way from £500 profit all the way to 20000 and you know ROIs from 10 up to 50 So you guys can screen capture this uh, if you want. Um, it'll be very useful for you just to kind of see roughly what you need to spend to make certain amounts of money. But I've got a few examples here that I'm going to bring up now. And what we can see here is I've just created a, a different sheet for a few extra um, sort of things here. So if we're making, if we're looking to make a thousand pound profit per month, okay, that's our goal is to make one thousand pounds per month. You know, we've got, I've created two assumptions here. I've done one for thirty percent ROI and one for fifty percent ROI. So when you're a beginner, you're starting at Amazon, it's good to aim for thirty percent ROI as a minimum. Um, the main reason for that is it obviously means you don't need a crazy amount of capital to start with. But it also uh, gives you enough room that if things go wrong with your particular uh, thing that you found, that you can, um, you know, you've got some room to actually, you know, if, it, if, if the price drops, you've got sort of, you can go down to 20%, 10% ROI. You've got a bit of margin in there if the price happens to drop. So with these two assumptions here, we can see that um, spending 30%, uh, we're looking at a 30% ROI, we need to be spending 3,333 per month on stock. But if we, uh, once you get more experience and you learn more about Amazon, you can start actually pushing your ROI up. And um, if you can get 50% ROI, all you need to be spending then is 2,000 pound per month on stock. So it makes it a little bit more achievable here. So that's just kind of gives you a, uh, uh, if your goal is 1,000 pound, just gives you a good roadmap on exactly how to achieve that goal. So next I created the £2,000 profit per month thing here. So all we need to do again, uh, pretty much double of last time, um, looking to £2,000 per month, 30% and 50% ROI. All we need to be spending is £6,666 per month if we're making 30% ROI. Or 50% ROI, we need to be spending £4,000 per month. So you can see here that as the ROI start to go higher, actually the spend goes down quite obviously, but it becomes a bit more achievable to hit your goal and you need to spend a little bit less. Um, but obviously you're looking for those higher ROI items.
Now guys, before we go on to the next part of the video, I just want to talk about my sponsor, which is Profit Protector Pro. Now Profit Protector Pro is a best in class repricer for Amazon FBA sellers. And this is the repricer that I use now. So I've been using it for around three to four weeks now. I just moved over from STK and you can see here, uh, this is my dashboard. I have made an extra nearly 1200 pounds profit extra from using uh, Profit Protector Pro. And this is uh, 1200 pounds just above the buy box. So the thing I love about PPP, Profit Protector Pro, is that it basically is always trying to reprice your items as high as possible while also maintaining the buy box. Now obviously it depends on what kind of strategy you have, but you know, if we go here, we can see all the different strategies they've got. Um, you've got things like the super aggressive dominator, aggressive sales generator, balanced sales, sales accumulator, and they've got all these fancy sort of AI uh, repricers, which are really good. And uh, to be honest, it's so easy to set up and so easy to use these different rules. So for every item you've got, you can just choose a different rule. And, you know, if you want to clear stock, go for the super aggressive dominator. Or if you're just looking to try and make money, you know, cautious sale enhancer could be a good one. So yeah, you've got all these different algorithmic strategies you can choose from. Super easy to set up. Uh, link in description, guys, if you want to sign up. And if you sign up to PPP, I'm happy to jump on a 15-minute call with you and help you get it set up as well. So can't ask more than that. So here we can see uh, sort of now £5,000 profit per month. This is getting to the point now where anyone who's making this can now kind of quit their job, basically. So it's a kind of a nice figure. Uh, anywhere between sort of three and 5,000 people can look to quit their jobs, I think. So, you know, again, assumption here, 30% ROI, 50% ROI, and all we need to be spending really is 16,666 per month on 30% ROI and 10,000 pound per month on 50% ROI. So you can see you do need a decent amount of capital to make 10,000 pound profit per month, but it's not beyond the world of imagine, you know, not beyond imagination really. Um, anyone can do this. It just obviously takes time to build up if you start with a smaller amount of capital. And finally, what I want to show you guys is kind of where I am now. And this is sort of, I've got two years experience now, just showing you exactly what I do. Um, you know, I, I make roughly about eight to 10,000 profit per month. Um, I'm really trying to solidify that 10,000 pound profit per month now. And as you can see here, um, I actually do achieve a 50% ROI. Actually, it's a bit more than that. It's like between 55, 58% ROI. Um, obviously, I've got two years of experience. So that certainly helps me um, with you know, finding decent deals. Um, I've got some good replens that I use. So, you know, I aim at 50% ROI. So all I need to do is spend 20,000 per month on stock. Um, that's all I need to do. So I know exactly what I need to do to make 10,000 pound per month. I don't always achieve it because I don't always find enough stock to spend 20,000. That's the problem that I run into now, but I'm trying to maintain the sort of 50% ROI at the moment. So, but you know, I, in theory, I could end up making the 10,000 pounds if I was willing to take my ROI down to maybe 45%, something like that. But right now, this is kind of what I, you know, I use for my goals, basically. So guys, I hope you found that useful. I think the main thing here is just having a good understanding of how Amazon works, but also, you know, what you need to be doing to actually make the this, this amount of money that you're looking for. So like I said, I think a good goal is to start with, say, a thousand pound per month. And now we know exactly what we need to spend in order to make that. And then as you are progressing through your Amazon goals and your Amazon business, you need to be understanding what you need to be spending. And one of the things that I run into with students who, you know, most students are struggling to scale their business. And I think it always comes back to boiling down what you need to be doing each month in order to make the money. So if you're trying to scale from 2000 to 3000 or 4000, you need to understand that you need to be spending way more money every month to not only maintain your 2000, but also grow to the 3000, 4000. So that's a, a very important concept that a lot of sellers don't actually think about. And I think goal setting is just a very important thing in, in business and in life as well. So I'm very goal orientated myself. I have goals for everything. And um, whether I hit those goals is another matter, but I do try. Um, but it's good to have those goals and keep adjusting them. So yeah, guys, hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video.